Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain the software design process and its objectives. Understand what is software design? A software design is the process to transfer the user needs, wants and requirements into some suitable form, which helps the programmer in the software coding and implementation. The programmer means who writes the code after the designing. So it will help this designing phase will help the programmer in the software coding and implementation of the system during the software designing phase the design document is produced so based on the design document we can understand the customer requirements as documented in the srs document and we can produce this design document Hence, the aim of this phase is to transfer the SRS document into design document. So if we transfer all the requirements which is mentioned in the SRS document into design document, this will further lead to the programmer to write the code and implement the software in a better manner. We have to follow some of the items during this phase and we have to maintain or we have to design and document some of the items during this design phase are the different modules required has to be maintained, control the relationship among the modules, interface among the different modules, data structure which we are using among the different modules what are all the different data structures we have adapted for the different modules what kind of interface we are using and what kind of relationship among the modules we have and also what kind of algorithm is required to implement the individual modules so these items are designed and documented during the design phase which leads the further development of the system which helps the programmer to write the system code and implement the system let us understand some of the objectives of the software design the software design objectives are the first one is the correctness always a good design should have correctness or it should be correct that is it should correctly implement all the functionalities of the system. It means that based on the requirements, we should implement all the functionalities in the system. That is the correctness. This is the first objective. Second objective is efficiency. A good software design should address the resources, time and cost optimization issues. So this is the second objective. The third is understand ability. So it is also read as understandability. A good design should be easily understandable for which it should be modular and all the modules are arranged in a layers. It means the modules which we are going to implement during this designing phase so those should be understandable okay so those should be easily understandable so that the further development will not be having any kinds of omissions ambiguities and all the fourth objective of the software design is it should be complete the design should have all the components like the data structure modules their interfaces external interfaces, internal interfaces, etc. The fifth objective is the maintainability. Always we think about the maintainability because a good software design should be easily responsive to the changes. Whenever a change request is made from the customer side, the software design should be easily responsive so that the changes of the users can be easily made into the software design. So these are the some of the objectives of the software 
design so the next is the software design concept so software design concept simply means the idea or the principle behind the design so what idea we have or what kind of principles we are following for the software designs are nothing but the concepts it describes how you plan to solve the problem of designing the software the logic or thinking behind how you will design the software it also it allows the software engineers to create the model of the system or a software or a product that is to be developed or built and released for the user to use the software design concepts provide a supporting and essential structures and models for developing the right software so the software design concepts tells about all the details about the software design how you are going to implement the software and what kind of software modules you are using and what kind of product we can uh, find at the end so all these concepts are given in the software designing concepts whether we are designing the right software or not as per the given requirement or not okay so these concepts are included in the software design concepts before we uh, look at the different concepts of the software design let us have some of the questions like what is the work product we have already uh, studied what is software and what is software product based on the requirement any software is made or tailor made for a particular requirement then that software is called as software product now what is the work product here the design model that encompasses the architectural interface component level and deployment representation is the primary work product that is produced during the software design is the work product how do i ensure that i have done it right okay so whatever we have done whether i have done it right or wrong how should i know because see to analyze this and to answer this question there is a software team which determines whether uh, we have done it right or wrong okay so the design model is assessed by the software team is an effort to determine whether it contains the errors inconsistencies omissions or whether the better alternatives exist and whether the model can be implemented within the constraints schedules and costs that have been established or given so the right answer is given by the software team okay and they ensure that whether we have done it right or wrong okay now understand the design within the context of the software engineering software design sits at the technical kernel of the software engineering and is applied regardless of the software process model that is used beginning once the software requirements have been analyzed and modeled the software design is the last software engineering action within the modeling activity and sets the stage for construction in construction we write the coding and we perform the testing okay so this uh, software design sits at the technical kernel of a software engineering means it is a very important part of the entire software development and once this uh, in modeling phase if we complete the designing and if we move further to the next stage in the construction we write the code we generate the code and we test that code to implement the software okay so therefore we say that 
beginning once the software requirement have been analyzed all the requirements given by the users has been analyzed and finalized and modeled okay then the software design is the last software engineering action within the modeling activity okay after analyzing and modeling the software designing is performed means we have done it half of the work the next stage which starts with the coding and testing part okay so this is the very crucial stage the software designing because it sets the stage for writing the code and implementing the software okay okay so this figure there are many concepts of software design and some of them are given below so as you can see in this figure we have some of the concept of the software design like abstraction refactoring information hiding pattern refinement architecture and modularity okay so let us understand one by one okay so as uh, i written following points should be considered while designing a software so we have to keep in mind while designing a software okay abstraction so why abstraction is needed okay because abstraction hides the detail and reduces the complexity and increases the efficiency or the quality of the product so therefore we use this abstraction in different levels okay different levels because th these abstractions are necessary and must be applied at each stage of the design process so that any error that is present can be removed to increase the efficiency of the software okay and to refine the software solution so therefore we use this abstraction to hide the irrelevant data which is not necessary okay the second point should be remember while designing the software is the modularity so modularity it divides the system into a smaller parts which are called as modules and these smaller parts reduce the complexity of the system okay so therefore we say said that subdivided the system the modularity subdivide the system the main system is divided into number of parts those parts are called as the subsystems or the modules okay modularity in design means to subdivide a system into smaller parts so that these parts can be created independently and then use these parts in a different systems to perform different functions when it is necessary to divide uh, the software into component so there are a huge project we undertake and we are implementing a very large project then we divide uh, that large project into number of pieces which are known as the modules because nowadays there are different softwares available like uh, monolithic software that is hard to grasp for software engineers so modularity is design has now become a trend and is also important the third point you should remember is the architecture design or the architecture of a software so architecture means a technique to design a structure of something a design a structure of something means software the architecture in designing software is concept that focuses on various elements and the data of the structure these components interact with each other and use the data of the structure in architecture the fourth one is refinement refinement means to refine something to remove any impurities 
if present and increases the quality in your product if you have some bugs omissions or any ambiguity to remove those purify your software and increases the quality of your software so therefore we say that refinement removes the impurities okay so therefore the refinement concept of a software design is actually a process of developing or presenting the software or a system in a detailed manner that means to elaborate a system or a software okay and it is very necessary to find out any error if present to reduce the ambiguity to reduce the problems of the software okay and increases the quality the next point should be remember is the pattern it means a repeated form or design in which the same shape is repeated several time to form a pattern the pattern in the design process means the repetition of a solution to a common recurring problem within a certain context so therefore this point has to be remembered while designing the software whenever a repeated form is there we can use this pattern and not to write a uh, several time the same code or use the same shape for uh, designing a software so if it has been used you can simply call it and that pattern has to be implemented wherever you want information hiding information hiding means hide the information so that it can't be accessed by an unwanted party unwanted party means unauthorized person who is not the authorized person to access the information so information hiding is the concept where we hide the information to the unwanted party or unauthorized accessing in software design the information hiding is achieved by designing the modules in a manner that the information gathered or contained in one module is hidden and can't be accessed by any other modules now you can clearly understand that if one module is hiding the information to access by the other module it means that there must be authentication or there must be a authorized user should use that information not all the users can use it so that kind of information hiding can also be considered a point while designing the software the seventh and the final point to be remember while designing the software is refactoring refactoring means to construct something in a such a way that it does not affect the behavior or any other features of your software so construct something which should not affect your system should not affect the behavior of the system okay so that is the refactoring the refactoring in software design means to construct the design to reduce the complexity and simplify it without affecting the behavior or its functions okay so anything the changes you want in your software to be made if you are making those changes it should not affect the behavior of the existing system okay the process of changing a software system in a way that it won't affect the behavior of the design and improves the internal structure that should be there in the refactoring okay so construct something so these are the some of the point Uh, we should uh, be considered or we should be remembered while designing a software so thank you for watching this video if you like kindly share subscribe my channel for the latest videos